Brother, sister, the celestial energy, brother, wisdom, what's going on, guys? All right, um, if you notice, when you uh, look at like, all these superheroes, they have a higher self and a lower self, all right? They have a higher self and a lower self. Clark Kent, Superman, Bruce Wayne, Batman, Peter Parker, um, Spider-Man. You have, um, what's her name, Diana, Wonder Woman. And you go on and on and on, all right? Now, when you talk about these, these higher, the higher, the, uh, your higher self, you're talking about how the, the, let's, let's just say this right here. Each one of these have a meaning, all right? Superman represents that high spiritual energy, that energy that can be uh, felt all across the the, the, uh, the cosmos. Superman represents the ionosphere, the highly powerful radioactive frequencies that can change the entire planet. All right, remember the old Superman? He wanted to reverse time to uh, save Lois Lane. All right. So he took time back to where, to the point before she died, and then he, he literally changed and shifted the shape of time. So you have to understand that when you're dealing with uh, the Superman, you're talking about the, the, the uh, extremely powerful uh, radioactive frequencies of the ionosphere, all right? Red, white, and blue. You know, this is a representation of royalty, of who we are. And you gotta understand each, each, um, color represents a different frequency, all right? That's a three-tone frequency. The red, white, and blue is also a three-tone frequency and a three, um, um, a, a triple, um, energy, uh, triple energy vibrations is what it's saying, all right? You have Batman and you can't forget Robin, all right? Batman represents that darkness, all right? Robin, which represents that, the, the Robin, we gonna say Robin, which is uh, one of the most beautiful singing birds out there. Their frequencies are so captivating. You sit up and listen to a Robin sing and you just go to sleep or sometime it'll, it'll activate your soul when you um, uh, think about the Robin, okay? So you got Batman and Robin. Now the thing about Batman, all right, Batman represents the darkness, all right? And Bruce Wayne is extremely rich. So we're talking about the richness of the darkness. It's not so much about the money. You gotta understand the, symbol, the, the symbolization of uh, these characters, all right? Wonder Woman, all right? Which, you know, Diana, it has that lasso of truth and this extremely, extremely powerful energy. Wonder Woman represents that powerful feminine energy that can literally conquer everything. No matter what mankind puts it and puts it towards you, Wonder Woman is that uh, 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 powerful feminine energy that can literally just destroy everything. I mean, Wonder Woman fought against Ares, one of the most powerful gods known. All right, and, and you know, did she defeat him? It, it wasn't about defeating him. It was a, the the, uh, the fact of seeing the force of this feminine energy that is within us. All right. Now you got Spider Man. Peter Parker is lower self. Spider Man is the higher self. All right. And what does Spider Man represent? That kinetic energy. That energy that connects to everything. You can go as high as you want to go. That was the thing about Spider-Man, you know, connects to everything. That's the connection that brings everything together so you can move in in, in spirit and in sound and 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 then those earth those plasma uh, uh, discharges are going off. And so yeah, that's that's the thing about Spider-Man. You can you can go as high as you want to go and connect to everything. That's that kinetic energy, all right? That powerful kinetic energy. Now you got Aquaman. Aquaman represents that, uh, the, the, the soul, 
all right? Water is the soul. Water represents the soul and the depth, depth of the soul. You gotta understand. That's what water, that's what Aquaman represents. That part of you that can go into the deepest of the deepest of the deepest of the waters and not be destroyed. So you can go into the depth of your soul and this is where you find all of the mysteries of life that has been so long removed from us, all right? You go on and on and on. You, you understand this, brothers and sisters. So, you know, I'm just I'm just giving like a, a short uh, a, a description of your uh, the, the powerful energy. Now you can go to Jean Grey, which is that chaos. You put Jean Grey and Wonder Woman against somebody and say, you know, what, what if Jean Grey uh, uh, battles Wonder Woman? It's not about battling. You got to understand that um, Diana is the, is the lower self. Wonder Woman is the higher self. But then Jean Grey is the, the, the is the higher part of Wonder Woman. Then there's a higher part of Jean Grey. You know, then when you go beyond that chaos, I mean, when you go into that that total decimation of everything, there's there's one that's higher than Jean Grey, and then there's one that's higher than 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 that Jean Jean Grey. So you know that 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 talks about location near north coast of Greenland, class moderate depth, ten kilometers, nine minutes ago. That talks about that um, the the information that we talked about on our on our higher selves. You know how we have a lower self, and then we have four higher selves. So you know if you look at it in that way, uh, uh, Diana, which would be the lower self, or which would be us, because our spirits are feminine, are feminine energies. All right, we so-called black people, our spirits are feminine energies. All right. And Wonder Woman is that higher than they then you have Jean Grey, but then you know they really don't want to go to the higher to the higher part of Jean Grey, but there's there are there are others that's higher than Jean Grey, and then there's higher than that. So then that's that that's that fifth tier. You know, when you're going into that 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 powerful energy, uh talking about um uh you know using these uh characters that are out there. All right. You go to uh Cyclops. All right, Cyclops, when he opens up that third eye, that's when that laser energy comes out, that powerful energy through that third eye that pierces everything, that can destroy anything. That's your Cyclops, all right? Now you have Beast. Beast represents, you know, like what we talked about, the, 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 the multiple renditions of yourself, where you can transform into anything, all right? And that's that, that's that other one, I forget her name. Um, Oh, I forget her name on X-Men. I forget her name. But she can transform into anything. Oh, uh, my goodness. I, I can't think of her name. You guys just remind me, okay? Um, but that's that shows you the renditions of the, the different parts of us. Lucy. Let's go into Lucy. When Lucy shows, when you go into your higher self, you have complete control of everything. All right? You have that complete control. Nothing is nothing. Nothing can 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 stop you. You cannot be penetrated whatsoever. And this is all through a higher mindset. All right. This is what we're talking about. You know, when we did that last video, uh, you know, the magnitude of the, the celestial bodies, you know, this is a part of that magnitude, the higher selves understanding the characters that they put out here and each character represents um a different part of you that's that's that part of that multi-circle of of energy and um and and uh power then you have silver surfer what silver surfer represents you know that silver you know silver is one of the is is the second purest um um element out there outside of gold Gold is extremely pure, but silver is the second purest uh, 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 element out there. All right, silver has cleansing powers, clean, cleansing powers just like gold. All right, and silver serper represents that pure energy, that pure cosmic energy that can uh, 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 literally go anywhere. Part of silver surfer, you have to understand that. Um, um, 
when you're dealing with this power and this energy, you have to learn how to absorb all other energies that want to pull you down. That's part of silver surface that you got to understand. So when you have, when you when you learn how to absorb all those energies that pull you down, you can then uh, uh, take the take back the power that belongs to you. All right. So do you see the 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 you know recognizing the the characters, the superhero characters that are out there? All right. Thor. You know, Thor was a giant. Thor was actually a titan. All right, but Thor represents that power, that power that 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 no one else can handle, and that hammer. Only those who carry that power. Then they showed you later on. You know when you, when it when it came into um, uh, the the new um, Captain America when they finally made the brother the Captain America, who's the true Captain America, and he was the only one who could outside of Thor who could handle that uh um that hammer all right so you understand this the powers that's within you that 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 uh uh shield made out of this pure uh, uh uh cosmic metal captain america who you are brothers and sisters so i mean all of these different characters represent the carbon body. All right. From 5.1 location near north coast of Greenland, class moderate depth, two kilometers, 14 minutes ago. So you understand that? All of these characters are a different representation of the carbon body. That's when you get into uh, the Power Rangers, and you're taking all these different characters and you putting it into one body. And understanding that that body is that supreme source of power, all right? Like we said, so many out here want to be us. But you got to understand, all this power belongs to us, brothers and sisters. And this is why, you know, we say we're the only ones who can save this planet. We're the only ones. We're the only ones who can stop this, all right? We fail. Our planet fell, all right? We fell from a powerful energy that belonged to us. Now we rise again. So understand, understand, overstand who we are, brothers and sisters, and the depth of the power that we possess. This is only a small rendition. This is only a small, you know, I mean, this is only a small scale. We haven't even gone to all the other, you know, what they call the super friends. There's so many others. You know that we deal that that we can deal with. You know, Stretch Armstrong and and you know even even when you want to talk talk about the, the the Fantastic Four. You know, and we say Fantastic Four. Four is the number for what? Perfection. Four represents perfection. So you know we're getting into some some uh, some powerful energies that um, we have long been uh, removed from. All right. So it's our duty. All right, to take back what belongs to us and to get back into the balance of true power and energy dealing with the cosmic forces that are within us. Okay, brothers and sisters. So I pass this on to you. I uh, hope you understand, understand, overstand everything that has been said in this message. All right. We are those powerful characters that you see in the, uh, the movies. You know, they got this new Batman coming out. You know, the, the Batman. You got to understand. What are they talking about? The darkness. But like we said, which Bruce Wayne in, the, in this movie is rich. So we're talking about rich darkness. The darkest of darkness. The rich. The richness of darkness. Understand this, brothers and sisters. All right. Um, I'll catch you guys later. All right. This is about all I have for right now. We're going to go deeper than this right here. Okay, um, you know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial and jelly beans may chaos ring through forever and ever and ever. And remember, chaos brings change. Peace has never brought change. Peace has actually caused more uh, uh, calamity and destruction than anything else. You try to come at peace, you making you making amends with someone who wants to see you destroyed, and they're using all types of of of, of, of different uh, deceptive means to try to conquer 
your soul, your mind, your heart. So chaos brings change, not peace. Much power to you all, brothers and sisters.